Hey everyone, welcome back to Rose's Year of One. We're doing a lipstick declutter today. I originally filmed a whole story time intro about what prompted this lipstick declutter, but quite frankly, the lipstick declutter is about 100 years long and I thought, you don't need a story time intro. So to condense it down, I saw that Chanel had brought out some new limited edition lipsticks, fell in love, went home, talked myself out of them, put on my red Chanel lipstick only to find that I have owned it for so long that it had dried out and was all crumbly. So that is the one in the left hand side of the frame by Chanel, it's called Gabrielle. I then got very angry with myself and was like this is exactly why you do not need any more red Chanel lipsticks because you already had a red Chanel lipstick and it took you so long to get round to using it that it had actually gone off because you own so many and you have so many to rotate through that there is no point adding any more into this, it is a complete waste. And I was very good, I talked myself right out of the red ones, I was very proud of myself. And then the little demon that lives inside of me came up and was like, aha, Chanel have also released a nude lipstick and maybe you could get that one because you don't own as many nude lipsticks, which I don't to be 100% fair, but I do own nude lipsticks. So then I wore the lipstick that you're looking at on the right hand side, well not the right hand side of the frame, but to the right hand side of the Chanel lipstick, which is from the Ciate Olivia Palermo collection, it is called Cashmere. And it is a nude lipstick that I own and I like. And I put it on and it really dried my lips out because it in itself, the bullet itself was not crumbly the way that the Chanel one has gone crumbly, but it is definitely turning. TLDR, wanted lipstick, talked self out of wanting lipstick by saying must utilize what we already own, used what we already own, found it somewhat lacking because it has gone off because these things are perishable, which we don't think about enough when we accumulate them. And now have realized must declutter lipsticks because I have far too many. I'm never going to get the use out of all of them. They're all sitting, they are perishable, they're all going off, they're all turning. And I'd rather have a smaller collection that I can get as much use out of things that I really like rather than having this large collection of things that I just like rather than really like. With that in mind, that is what prompted this declutter. Let's get into it. These are all my lipsticks. At one time, these were sorted. So this is, if you guys can see, one of those kitchen utensil things. So there's like, like there, there's a separator. There is a separator this way here. There's one just over there, if you can see. So these at one point were separated into colour. They've definitely sort of descended out with that, but I think what I'm going to do is try and pull out all the sort of nudes first of all. I do definitely have some that are in nudes that are like sort of dark browns and stuff, but I'm just thinking in terms of cleaning off my arm between swatching, um, that starting with the light ones makes the most sense. So I'm gonna try and pull all of them out. Do you know what, in fact, just before we do that, this is a glitter lips kit that I got for New Year's in 2016 for like New Year's going into 2017. Ended up not using it, have never used it since. I'm probably never going to use it and if the occasion really does arise, I'm sure I will manage to find a new kit to buy. So I'm going to declutter that without even considering it. I mean, it's kind of like a random thing anyway, it's not really like a lipstick, it just lives here. But yes, yeah, so we are decluttering that and now I'm going to pull out all the nudes. Many of the nudes, I'm sure some of them will end up popping up later because they've fallen in beside other colours. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so we're starting with 20. Let's go through them. Let's see what we can get rid of. I've definitely got more nudes because Mac Yash is somewhere in there. Wait a second, I'm going to try and find Yash because I feel like that's my favourite, like, extreme nude in a way. You know, if I was doing like a 60s look and I wanted that sort of almost concealery lip look, I feel like Yash is what I would go for, so wait a second till I try and find that in amongst the others. Okay, so I found Yash, so that makes it 21, and as I say, there's probably going to be more nudes in amongst the others that I have not got on this Passover, so we'll come up against them when we come up against them. Let's just pull my favourites first of all. So, as I say, MAC Yash, so this is my like super nude sort of concealer lip look. Really, really like that for a certain look, definitely want to keep that one. Another one I definitely want to keep is another MAC one. This was from the Aladdin collection and it's called Princess Incognito. So that is like my 
my sort of elastoplast nude and then sort of a pinky nude. Another one I definitely want to keep is this one from MAC as well and this is the Stay Curious. So this is more of a kind of going into proper sort of pinky territory. Definitely keeping that one. Right, I'm definitely keeping this but this is a sort of peachy nude so I'll maybe look at all the peachy nudes together. Um, and I'm definitely keeping this from Guerlain. It's number three from the Rouge G range. So I'm definitely keeping that one. Oh, in fact, let's just swatch. So this is the, as you can tell, still in the packaging, Urban Decay Game of Thrones Sansa lipstick. So that is that one there. Definitely, definitely keeping that. This I'm going to keep, and this is Antique Velvet, so it's completely different to any other. It's just, obviously, brown is like a nude colour. Um, so it lives in amongst my nudes and I think it's the only sort of proper just true brown lipstick that I have. So out of interest, let's swatch it there so that you can see it. Um, I'm going to definitely keep that as well and that's not really comparable to anything else that I've that I've got still here. This is what my nude lipstick wardrobe is kind of looking like at the moment. These are the Olivia Palermo lipsticks. So this is one of the ones that I was talking about in my intro. It was Cashmere. And I really liked how it looked, and it is quite different to be fair. Well, let's do it next to Yash. I think Cashmere is still, it's slightly less dark. It's Cashmere slightly lighter, so I'm going to keep that. But as I said in the intro, this kind of dried my lips out a little bit when I used it. So these obviously are starting to turn, and I can't really blame them because they're old. So I'm going to keep it for now. This is Praline, which... I feel like is I should have just swatched it there to start with. I feel like that's so similar to that that I would kind of just use that one if I wanted that look. And then the other one is Truffle. So let's do Truffle here. Truffle is slightly different, but I don't think it's really different enough to any of these others. Like I feel like I could kind of get Truffle by like maybe mixing like that with that. So I think we will get rid of these two. Okay, so here's what we have left. I bought this in Florida in 2015 um, and I really, I wore it like that whole holiday. I really, really loved it. Um, it's pinker than I actually remember because I haven't worn it in so long now. And you know, I had like this proper Carrie Bradshaw moment with this where I put it in my bag and then I thought I'd lost it but there was a like, must have been a rip in the lining of my bag that it had fallen into. And I have like such good holiday memories attached to this because it was a three week trip to Florida and I just bought it in such a whim in Target and then ended up wearing it like the whole holiday. I do, I do like it but as you can see it's kind of, it's quite a melty one and I have cleaned it up several times but it just always gets quite, quite melty. Right this is a maybe for now. I feel like we'll see what else I come up with in this sort of shade. Like it's definitely related to these two but it's it's almost in between the two of them but then I could potentially just mix the two of them to get this. No, we're going to say goodbye to this one. I mean I bought it in Florida in 2015. We're now 2021 so it's definitely expired as are you know pretty much all of my products at this point. So yeah we're going to say goodbye to this. Another one I think I'm going to say goodbye to is this from Seventeen which I don't believe even exists as a brand anymore and this is the shade Cheeky Secret. And I think this is going to be, yeah. So this and Sansa, I think, are... They look more different on the arm than they do on. I feel like once they're on, they're both sort of very sheer, peachy-toned colours. And yeah, I think that's the thing with decluttering, is you have to remember, like, things can swatch so differently. Um, or you can make such a big deal out of a very small difference that just does not translate to the lips. I feel like where I would have where I would have worn this, I would now reach for Sansa and Sansa is slightly different because it's a limited edition lipstick and like my cat's called Sansa and I was a huge Game of Thrones fan. So, you know, there's a sort of emotional side to it there where even if that lipstick turns, I'm probably gonna keep it for the packaging and the sort of collector value. Um, but in terms of if I was to get the use out of one of them before it turned, I would rather be getting the use out of Sansa than out of this, particularly because this is so old as well. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Right, let's swatch this one from Hourglass. It's the shade Believer. So that's this one at the end here. I, I like this format for 
these lipsticks. I feel like I want to keep this for now. Then I've got Bite Brioche. Do you know what? I do quite like that colour, but if you guys aren't new to my channel, you might remember I ended up taking huge allergic reactions to other Bite products that I had, and I don't know if I would even risk using this on my lips, despite the fact it's in with my lipsticks. I feel like I would only use this on my cheeks at this point, and I've got other products and it's living in with my lipsticks, so I'm not even considering it when I'm looking at my other cheek products. So I think it's just time to say goodbye to this. This was one of my favourites. This was actually from that same Florida holiday in 2015. Again, I like this stick format. I like, you know, the by Terry Ombre Black Stars as eyeshadows. Um, you know, I'm quite into a sort of stick format and I do, I like this colour, but is it... It's very similar to Stay Curious, isn't it? Like, I feel like I would reach for Stay Curious before I would reach for... Well, is that true? Mm -hmm. I don't... I'm going to hold on to this for now. Let me think about this one a little longer. Chanel Mademoiselle, this is one of the Rouge Coco lipsticks. So this is the one that I was saying, the other colour that I have, Gabrielle, um, has definitely turned a little bit. And I got this one before I got Gabrielle, if I'm honest. So that is that one there. I feel like actually those two are super close. And let me actually just, while we're doing this swatch, so this is... Estee Lauder Bois de Rose. Yeah, see, they're all very much in that sort of family. Okay, I'm definitely, if I keep any of those three, I'm only keeping one. I feel like I want to keep the Chanel one. But I do really like this format. The, the L'Oreal stick format. Okay, let's come back to those three. So this is quite a new one, and it was actually, it was one that had expired that I decided to replace, is Nars Jane. It's quite sort of terracotta shade. So it is quite different to anything else that's on my arm at the moment. So I think I will keep that one. Then I've got a little Burberry Mini here, I believe. Yep, this is the shade Sepia. I feel like it's it's nice enough, but it's not... Again, it's quite similar to this little family here. If I swatch it over here. You know, it definitely tones in and it's such a dinky small lipstick that in a way I'm like, oh, I could probably pan that. But yeah, rather than panning this tiny little lipstick that I probably got for free or in a set or something, I could pan one of these full size ones that I've spent my money on and, you know, picked out the colour and made more of a conscious decision on buying in the first place. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Okay, so I've got these three and these three. So we've swatched these three still thinking about them and I've got these three to consider. So I wore this quite recently. Um, so that's Burt's Bees Santorini Sunrise, which is a really sort of fat, you know, I'll swatch that down next to this because I feel like it's, it's a sort of peachier version of that. I do quite like that, I have to say. Then I've got Burt's Bees Sedona Sand here. So that's that one there and it's quite a sort of generic nude. I feel like I can definitely let this one go. I think I want to keep a hold of this one for now. I'm going to put this back down. And then last but not least we've got Colourpop Upside Down, which is obviously broken. I feel like maybe, oh, do I want to keep that? Because it's kind of like the matte version of that. I think I might, even though it's obviously broken. Although the thing is, I'm not sure I suit these colours, like I like them, but I'm not sure, I think I suit things with a bit more sort of warmth in them because I have darker eyes. I feel like these can make me look a little bit washed out, but I do, objectively, I like these colours. Right, I think what I'm going to do is go clean my arm off and come back and consider these five on a clean arm, not surrounded by other swatches. Right, so let's swatch these three next to each other. That is S. Order Bois de Rose, Chanel Mademoiselle, and L'Oreal She's So Matte. So I feel like actually these two are more similar than the Chanel one is when you look at the three of them sort of next to each other like that. But as I say, this is really old. I think I might get rid of these two and keep the L'Oreal one because I think I just I really love this formula and I really love this sort of stick delivery system. So yeah, I'm going to keep this L'Oreal one and I'm going to get rid of 
get rid of these two. I don't really want to get rid of this one, but it is just so old in my collection, you know, and I'm not... I feel like if there was a lot less left of it, I might say I'm just going to pan it for the sort of satisfaction of doing that, but it would take me so long to pan it, I'd need to stop using everything else to get the use out of it. And the fact I've already got another one in this formula that I got after I got this one that has definitely turned suggests this is going to turn in the near future and I've got my project pan lipsticks going on and I want to be using all of my other lipsticks so if it's going to kick around for another two years to be used like once a year in that rotation there is just no point and I would rather get the use out of something that's not about to turn so I'll get rid of these two but it's it's really just based on age this is the newest one this is quite a hard one but yeah I'm saying goodbye to these two in terms of these because they are those more peachy tones I think what I'm going to do is consider them in next to the other orange lipsticks so I'm going to try and get all my oranges which will probably go from peaches through to gingerbreads together Okay, so I feel like there's, again, probably more within the collection, but this is what I'm pulling out for now. So yeah, there's going to be a big range, I think, here, because these, like, super sort of peaches are very different to the sort of gingerbread, brownie, deep sort of oranges at this end. Colourpop, Upside Down. Then Burt's Bees, Santorini Sunrise. Then I think next to that I'll maybe do, this is my Charlotte Tilbury hot lips that I got for my birthday last year. Um, and this was in the shade Karina Star. It's so pretty. Then I've got Estee Lauder. This is the shade Stay Coral. Okay, do you know, instantly I just think these two are so similar. I'm going to get rid of this Estee Lauder one because the Charlotte Tilbury one is much newer. So we're saying goodbye to this one without even kind of getting into it. Then I've got another reasonably new one. I got this as a gift last year. It's from the MAC Bronzing Collection and it is the shade Can Do. Really sort of fun, bright, summery, almost neon orange when it's on the lips. You can tell the newer ones because they're still in this packaging. This was another one that I got as a gift last year. It's Patrick Ta. She's not from here. I absolutely adore this shade. So this is definitely going nowhere. And then next to that I've got, in fact, should I have, yes I probably should, MAC Social. So this is MAC Social. I feel like these are very, very similar, but I do, I love them both. So I'm going to hold on to both of them. Do you know, the longer I am looking at this arm, the more I'm like, I like a matte lip. So I'm going to get rid of this Burt, Burt Spies one and I'm going to, for now, keep... In fact, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to get rid of both of these because these are the kinds of colours that I really enjoy are these like super fun bright colours and it's so easy to lose track of that at the moment because we're wearing masks and it's not maybe the most conductive environment to wearing these colours but these are the colours that really bring me joy and that's what I should have in my collection. I don't need a million and one nudes and peaches and whatever else. Like I've just done my nude lipsticks. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of both of these shades. That was that was a good development, I think. MAC Marrakesh. This is one of my absolute favourites. This is getting going. These sort of orangey, gingerbready tones are just some of my faves. Um, so that's definitely going nowhere. Do I still want, actually, let me... I'm just going back to Antique Velvet there, so... No, they're quite different. I'm de no, I'm keeping both. So Antique Velvet Sting, as is Marrakesh. Again, another one that I love. I feel like this is just going to be, these are all my lipsticks that I love, but I really love these sort of orangey, gingerbready tones. And this is the shade Savannah from Diego de la Palma. I mean, just look at that. How beautiful is that? Yeah, and it's significantly different to anything else, so we're definitely keeping that one. Let's do this one next from Wet n Wild. This is the shade Sandstorm. It's The thing is, I love these colours, but it, again, with cheaper lipsticks, the packaging is cheaper. It's a bit like those NYX ones. They just seem to get, you know, they're, they're less firmly held. They're more likely to smoosh against the edges. They're more likely to become messy, but I do really like... I do really like that shade. 
but yeah it's a bit of a mess and you know it started to crack all around there so I think we'll just say goodbye to this one. And that leaves me with three colour pops. So who run this? One of my favourites, definitely going nowhere. So that is who run this, definitely staying. And then I have got Secret Stash, that's another one that I love. So that is Secret Stash, which is kind of more in with these two. Um, but it's again different, so I'm definitely keeping that as well. And then I've got Ellery in here, but that's really, if I remember correctly, more of a sort of berry tone. But I suppose, it's, yeah, no, it's definitely a berry. That really shouldn't be in here, but it is absolutely beautiful. So there it is, just to look at, look at it in its beauty. But I think we'll put that back in and we'll consider it in next to others of its own. But I do, I do think it's a very, very lovely tone. So it's probably staying, but we'll consider it in amongst its own sort of gingerbready orangey arm this is what's staying from that so we've got one two three four five six seven eight orangey gingerbreads and then adding the nudes on we've got nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen so we've got eighteen lipsticks so far and to start with we had over twenty nudes so I'm feeling good about that so 18 are staying and then so far we have decluttered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 declutters so far. This is going pretty well actually so I'm going to go clean my arm and we'll move on to the next category. I think what I'll do is the next small category or the last small category, which will be pinks. I'm not a huge pink person, so we'll pull out the pinks and then it's on to the reds, berries and like deep vampy colours, which form the majority of my collection and are going to be the most difficult to want to part with any. Let's do pink first. Oh, do you know what? I've just realised I have more lipsticks somewhere else. Give me a second. So I just remembered basically I pulled out everything that I've got for Christmas into a sort of separate area um, which I'll talk about in another video. So yeah, I don't think actually to be fair I would have gone through any of these yet so this is, I might have done this in with nudes, is Charlotte Tilbury Penelope Pink but we'll do it in with pinks. That is a red um, Pat McGrath Fever Dream. I'm definitely keeping but I think I would have looked at that in amongst um, the, the sort of corals and stuff so I'll just stick it there. Charlotte Tilbury Pill Talk. Then I've got Pat McGrath Vendetta and Guinevere so they're both reds along with MAC Work Work Work. Lisa Eldridge Velvet Ribbon. Velvet Dragon and Velvet Jazz. So these are all going in here for later consideration but what made me remember was that I have Lee Seldridge um, Skyscraper Rose which is a pink so those are my pinks and the other thing I've just kind of thought of is this here um, this little Fenty set has two lipsticks in it and one of them's kind of a pink we'll, we'll look at it in with this so um pinks plus some assorted colors that should have probably been looked at already now i'll be honest i don't think there's going to be many declutters here as you can see i don't really hoard pinks anyway it's not a color that i overly buy um and i've got quite a few new things here which i'm definitely not going to be parting with. I will show you Pat McGrath Fever Dream. I wore this recently. In fact, I think I wore this in my February and March haul video. So it's beautiful and I love it and I am definitely, definitely keeping that. Then we've got this one from Fenty. This is the shade Spanked. So that is those two there. I like both of them, so I'm going to keep both of them. Uh, then that's quite a kind of bright pink, so I'll look at that over there. These are my sort of two nude pinks, I suppose. This is Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. Should have probably been considered in with the other nudes, but it wasn't, so it is what it is. And I'm going to keep that. And then I've also got Charlotte Tilbury Penelope Pink, which, as you can see, is very much not pink looking at all. In fact, it's a very sort of yellowy elastoplasty nude, but is what it is so, uh, so there, those four are there 
Those four are being kept, keeping these four for definite, even though they don't kind of go within this overall category that we're supposed to be looking at, but they are four very nice colours. In fact, ugh, do you know, see the more I'm looking at them, like this is a nice colour, but I like these three better, so I think I will get rid of the fainty one. Keeping those three, and now on to pinks. This is one of my absolute favourites, it's Marc Jacobs Charlotte, I believe it was a Harrods exclusive. Oh, it is so, so beautiful. I don't wear a lot of pinks, um, but when I do, again, similar to what I said when we were looking at my oranges, I really love these sort of really bright, punchy pinks. So, Marc Jacobs Charlotte, definitely going absolutely nowhere. We love that. Then we have got MAC Girl About Town, which I also very much enjoy. Cherry Picking by Wet n Wild. Uh, oh, I feel like it's... Um, can you guys see that? I really love these lipsticks, but yeah, I think it's um, I think it's time for this one to go. I will just swatch it because it is a lovely colour and I do very much like it. I, I don't know if you can see, but every time I take this on holiday I have to sellotape it because the lid just comes off all the time. Um, but yeah, the, the bullet is looking less than stellar at this point. So I think we'll declutter cherry picking. Then we've got Revlon Petunia. Do you know what? I do like that, but again, I just prefer a matte colour, so I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Then we have Estee Lauder Raspberry Pop. This is like one of the few lipsticks that I have that actually looks used because it's ancient. But again, pinks, because I don't have a lot of them and I never really have been a huge pink person, you know, they are maybe some of my ones that ironically look more used because I have less to, to go between. I do like this shade, but you know, actually it is really old, so I think it might be, I think it might be time to say goodbye to Raspberry Pop. And then I'm definitely not getting rid of either of these two. This was from the MAC bronzing collection last year. My gran bought me these two just after we went into lockdown the first time. And this is the shade Côte d'Amour. And then last but not least at all, we have the Lise Eldridge Skyscraper Rose, which I'm also not getting rid of. I think you can tell, like, although I don't have a lot of pinks, when I do have a pink, I have a type of pink that I like. I should just say, actually, my Project Pan lipstick this year, which is the MAC Viva Glam Cindy, which is a sort of pinky shade, is in work, and I wouldn't be decluttering it anyway because it's in my Project Pan, so um, if you're just wondering why you don't see it in this video, it's because it is in my desk at work. Anyway, so from that lineup, we're keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we are getting rid of one, two, three, four. Four more for the declutter pile, which I am very happy with. I've just had to empty off my memory card and it has alerted me to the fact that we have been filming for 45 minutes at this point. And these are all the lipsticks that I haven't gotten onto yet. So I think I probably need to stop swatching everything. I think what I'll do next is try and pull out the reds. I feel like that is this section here. It's arguably the biggest kind of colour problem. Uh, I think what I'll maybe try and do is pull out the bright and classic reds first and then go on to the deeper reds. Okay, so I think these are the classic reds. There are a hell of a lot of reds to go through in this video, so before we get into that I am going to declutter this little sort of packet of samples. I have had these for so long. I keep saying I'm going to pan them, but they actually, like, like I have, I've used one of them up and I've opened this one and started using it, but they're deceptively large, you get a lot of product in these and yeah, I just can't really be bothered making the effort to finish off all these samples so I am going to just get rid of these before we get into this. And I've also definitely discovered loads of like nudes in amongst when I was pulling these out so we're definitely going to have to revisit nudes soon but let's get into reds. So, to get them into a more manageable frame to start with, we have got Okay, so we have 25 red lipsticks here. First of all, this is the Chanel lipstick in the shade Gabrielle. So this is the one that is definitely turning. So I am going to definitely declutter that one as much as it is very, very sad to do so. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. Now I definitely, two that I definitely want to keep these ones from Dior, so these are the Dior Christmas Collection packaging um, lipsticks and I just think they are so beautiful. This one is the shade 750 Matte Fabulous, undoubtedly meant to be said with a cool French accent but I'm not going to attempt. 
and the other one is Ardent Shock and this was actually like it's like two lipsticks in one kind of thing so one side's like matte, one side's shiny. I'm keeping those two for definite. This is one that I want to keep but definitely shouldn't. It's from Dolce & Gabbana. It is so old. Um, it's called Devil. Again, it's one of my very few lipsticks that actually shows signs of use. But yeah, I feel like I want to keep this for sentimental reasons. Like, I remember buying this on holiday. I was in London. Dolce & Gabbana makeup was just launching, so God, God knows how old this is. Like, this is at least 10 years old and potentially more. Um, Scarlett Johansson was the face of it. She was doing an appearance in Selfridges. I loved buying this lipstick. Um, Dolce & Gabbana makeup is no longer sold in Selfridges. They've left Selfridges. They're in Harrods. And this was the, the shade that Scarlett Johansson was wearing in the campaign. You can see how like scratched it is. It's been all across the world with me and I love it. But I don't know if I would actually put it on my lips anymore. But they don't seem to make this shade so I can't replace it, which I definitely, definitely would. For sentimental reasons, I'm holding on to this one for now. Another three that I'm definitely holding on to are, so my two Lisa Eldridge Classic Reds, Velvet Ribbon and Velvet Dragon. Well, Velvet Dragon's maybe not quite classic red, but it's that brightish red. So I did a whole video on my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks when I got them, so I'm not gonna waste your time swatching them, um, but I'm definitely going to keep them. And then I'm also going to keep this one from Guerlain, which I'm kind of keeping for the wrong reasons. It's number 214. It's not a matte and I got myself, I really, I think I meant to ask for 219, I think was the matte red. I hate that these lipsticks have numbers rather than names. I find numbers just annoying. But I really like the Rouge G's. I really like having the cases and collecting them. I think probably when I get a matte Rouge G lipstick, I will declutter this one like a matte red. But also I have so many matte reds that I'm not going to go out of my way to acquire that anytime soon. But I do just want to have a red rouge day to use with my cases, um, you know, particularly around Christmas time and stuff. So I'm holding on to this one for now. This I actually, I didn't pick this. So this is the matte powder kiss lipstick in the shade Work Work Work, which I really can't take myself seriously when I try and say that and yeah I got this in a goodie bag from a John Lewis thing so I don't think I've even ever swatched this so um and it's reasonably new so I can actually pass this on a lot of these are just gonna have to go in the bin because they are so ridiculously old um but I can pass this on to somebody because it's new it's not expired and I've not even swatched it so I'm gonna pass that one on declutter it so we've got two declutters and six that we're keeping so far I knew this category was gonna be the hardest but um yeah two declutters there's still two declutters so I've got Shirley and Carmen these were relatively new I got these last year in Edinburgh and I do nothing but complain about this formula then buy it so this is Carmen and Shirley if Shirley's out I should have put this in with the darks but yeah, I definitely should have put that in with the darks, but it is what it is. I'm keeping both of them. I really, I love the Nars Audacious colours. The formula is definitely not ideal, especially with the mask situation because it's so slippy and it moves, but the colours are just stunning. So I'm keeping those two. And on that note, I've also got, I believe this is Rita, yes, which is another classic red and it's so so beautiful. So I'm keeping Rita as well. This is an, an unnamed Illamasqua lipstick and uh, I think we can safely say this one is um, has had its time. I was still a student when I got this. It's um, I think this has had its day so I'm gonna bin that one. This is like completely untouched. It's from the Sephora Minnie Mouse collaboration and it has a little mini head here so I've never even used this. I'm not ready to declutter it. I need to probably like man up and use it. I just don't want to spoil it because it's so pretty. If you can see it says mini on the bullet there as well. Um, and it's it's so lovely. And I just, I don't want to use it and spoil it, but I'm also not prepared to declutter it. So if I'm going to keep it, I need to use it. And I am going to keep it. Um, right, let's look at these MAC ones because I like MAC lipstick and there's a chance I'll be keeping all three of these. So I have got Ruby Woo, definitely keeping Russian Red and MAC Red. Let's just swatch them all, but I think I'm probably keeping them all. Ruby Woo, the, the ultimate matte lipstick. Um, Russian Red, 
that's one of my more used looking ones it is a good lipstick and MAC Red which people oh potentially this one might have had its day can you guys see that it's looking a little worse for wear but it's a pretty red I might actually back to MAC for a new one of this because I do really like this colour and I have enough stuff to back to MAC with I'll keep it for now and I'll use it on my lips and see how the actual formula is if the bullets maybe just a bit bashed um because it, it has been traveling with me it's one that I use a lot so for now I'm going to keep these three what we are left with this is my Tom Ford lips and boys this is the shade Dominic it is beautiful and it is definitely turning I put this in a mini project pan last year just to try and get some use out of it because I can feel it starting to dry out on my lips but I do very much enjoy it so I'm going to keep it until it is no longer usable and then this one I got because it was in the Alice in Wonderland packaging this is the shade Erasbeth it's quite a pretty red actually though it's quite a bright red that isn't really the same as any of these so I think I'll keep that one and then in terms of limited edition packaging this came with the Oz the Great and Powerful set um, but I don't really use it if I'm honest yeah it's a bit see I don't I don't really like a non matte red so I think I'll declutter that and you know what? I think I'm just going to declutter all of these I feel like what I've done is I've pulled out the ones that I really wanted to keep and these are all the ones that you sort of like that's obviously been a gift with purchase that was a gift with purchase I think that was in a Space NK gift with purchase as well yeah these are just ones that I, I haven't thought to reach for and I don't have definite feelings on so given I am keeping all of these so I've got one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen that I'm keeping. And I have got one, two, three, four that I'm definitely declustering. I think we'll just add five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten declutters, fifteen keeping. That actually as a ratio is not too bad. It's still a ridiculous amount of classic red lipsticks to be keeping before we even get into like dark red lipsticks or brownie red lipsticks but 15 keeping 10 going not too bad before I move on with more reds these are shades that I think should have been in with the nudes so first of all we've got Pat McGrath Flesh 3 so this packaging is pretty uh, annoying this just comes right off now um, but I absolutely adore this shade so I'm definitely keeping this one it's a sort of funny shade it's definitely a nude when it's on but it looks sort of very but it's a deep nude it is definitely a deep nude um but on my arm i think it brings out the mauvey tones in a way that my lips don't quite bring them out mark jacobs kiss kiss bang bang which i believe was a sephora birthday gift or point perk of some sort this is a number seven crayon thing i think that was some kind of gift as well i don't believe i picked that this is the other lip color from the oz the great and powerful collaboration with urban decay so this was the glinda one which i'm more likely to use a glossy nude than a glossy red so that one has had a little bit more use than the red had and then i have got four color pops so hotline daydream ziggy Oh, I like that. And Capiche. This is my arm. I'm definitely keeping the Pat McGrath one. I love that. And I'm going to keep that Colourpop um, Ziggy, which is a beautiful sort of, it's kind of going into that gingerbread family. So I'm going to keep those two and I'm going to get rid of these six, I think, just because we've already gone through nudes. How many nudes do I really need? These two are the the ones that really call out to me when I look at this arm. I do really like this actually to be fair which is the hotline shade but I feel like it probably is. Do you know what I might... <sighs> two seconds I'm gonna grab some notes. Okay so this is hotline here um, and I do quite like it so this is Yash. They're close aren't they? Then I've got Cashmere and then Penelope Pink, which was one of the ones that I got at Christmas that I've pulled over. In fact, that's Pillow Talk. It's been in the wrong place. So that, that is Pillow Talk, not Penelope Pink. So this is Penelope Pink. So yeah, I feel like actually, as much as I really enjoy that hotline one, it's very, very close. It's very close to Yash. So I feel like 
I would reach for Yash over Hotline. And looking at these two actually, so that is the Cashmere from the Olivia Palermo um, Ciati collaboration and that is Penelope Pink by Charlotte Tilbury. I think I'm going to declutter Cashmere because I feel like they're very, very similar. This is much newer in my collection. As I said, this one dries my lips out. So I'm going to keep Charlotte Tilbury, Penelope Pink and that will replace what Cashmere did for my collection. And I'm going to keep these two and declutter these ones. I'm really sorry about the drilling outside, it's really irritating. Let's just take a check in of how many we have decluttered versus kept at this point, just to try and keep me focused on the fact that decluttering is the goal through the next couple of categories, which are all my favourite colours. So, so far we have decluttered 1, 2, 3, 4, 31, 32, 33, 34, that's literally just fallen apart. 35. So 35 bullets plus, I think these are on my inventory individually, so 36, 37, 38, 39. So 39 things decluttered. And then over here on the kept side, we have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, 40, 41. So we have got 41 kept, 39 decluttered. I'm really pleased actually. Um, I think it's obviously it's been bolstered by the Chanel ones being um, individual in terms of the colours to the samples but yeah 41 kept, 39 gone. That That is, I'm so pleased with that so yeah let's get into hopefully decluttering some more. So we are moving on to deep reds and then I've also got this which is Mac Lady Danger which I should have maybe looked at in next to the oranges because it's kind of similar to Mac Social and Patrick Ta. She's not from here because it's that sort of orangey red. Um, but I'm definitely keeping that. So I'm just going to add that to the keep pile. That is now 42 that we have kept. And then what's in the middle here are sort of deep, sort of dark to browny reds. So yeah, let's start going through these. They are some of my favourite shades. So. I don't know how successful we'll be here, but let's just do it. I'm definitely keeping this one, it's um, the MAC Viva Glam. This is the shade number one and my friend Lauren got me this for my birthday two years ago and it's in the, the limited edition glittery red packaging. So I love that one, definitely keeping that. Again, definitely keeping, so I have got Pat McGrath, Vendetta, Guinevere and Lee Eldridge Velvet Jazz, definitely keeping those four got NARS. Okay, Audrey we'll look at. I'm definitely keeping, yep, that's Olivia and Mona. Um, so this is Mona, which is a beautiful sort of bricky colour, um, which was used on Emma Stone. Is that her name? What's her name? Emma. It is Emma Stone, isn't it? Have I made that up? The girl that was in La La Land. <laughs> She's got red hair. She's definitely Emma something. Anyway, um, that was used on her at the Oscars the year that she won for La La Land. And that is Olivia. So they look quite similar in the bullet, but they're quite different. And I love them both, so I'm keeping them both. Uh, Mac Chili is another one that I'm definitely keeping. I feel like this is another one I could potentially back to Mac to replace because it's quite old, but I absolutely adore the colour. So definitely, definitely keeping that shade in my collection. Wine Sinner by Lipstick Queen. Do you know what? I think I might be ready to part with this one. I loved this when I first got it, but I feel like I've got other shades that are similar to that now that are in nicer formulas. So I think we'll we'll make this the first definite declutter. Oh, Mac Hot Tahiti. So this is another one that is not really a dark red because it's a glaze finish, but that's a really, really pretty one. I get quite a lot of use out of that. You can, again, see it's one that actually looks used-ish. So let's look at Audrey, which is a, do you know what, I like that, but I just, I don't love it. I feel like I'm ready to maybe part with, with Audrey. So that's NARS Audacious Audrey. We'll declutter that one. Then I've got two from the body shop here. And these were another Emma inspired purchase, but Emma Watson this time, she mixed these colours together. I think it was during the publicity trail for Beauty and the Beast. So that is shade number 429, Osaka Plum Matte, is that one there. 
and then this one is shade 415 New Orleans Scarlet Matte. I do like these colours but I feel like I've got those colours elsewhere in nicer formulas so I'm going to say goodbye to those two as well. This is Fig by Estee Lauder which was one of my favourite colours for a long time um, and it's it's just broken so I think we'll just um, say goodbye to that one too. Easy enough decision. I was going to say I feel like it's very old and probably going to turn um, and the colour is lovely but obviously that made that decision for me. This is the other one from the Olivia Palermo collaboration. This is the shade Velveteen. It's very, very pretty. I'm def yeah, I'm going to keep that one for now. This, I got rid of another one in this formula that I got at the same time a while ago just because I felt like it was starting to turn. It's the Rouge Bourgeois um, Rouge Edition Velvet, so they're no longer in the UK. But this shade was beautiful. be fair these two shades are very very similar aren't they yeah maybe I'll, I'll just I'll keep I've kept Mona I feel like unwittingly these two are the same so we will get rid of the bourgeois one and we will keep Mona then I've got two from NYX again and I really like both of these so one is called Sandman which is this one here so that is Sandman this is Con Artist and do you know what, I did really like both of them, but I feel like now I just have other things that I like more. I'm willing to say goodbye to these two. And then last but not least, we have Bobbi Brown Crimson, which is lovely. But again, I feel like, I feel like I own that shade elsewhere in formulas that are a little bit more matte that I probably prefer. So I think we'll say goodbye to that one too. Okay, so actually that was... I think more successful than I expected it to be. So we are keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Exactly 50% gone. So pleased with that. On to the next colour category. These are sort of deep reds and sort of burgundies, but like brownie ready burgundies. So I've got this, I've got berries, I've got purples, and then I've got like fun colours, and that is. That is us gone. So I've got 17 here. Let's see what I'm keeping. I'm going to be honest, it's probably going to be a lot of these because I love these shades. So straight away we've got Dior Christmas Collections. Oh, so beautiful. Um, so that is one of my favourites. It's called Trablonte. I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly at all. And then I've got Mysterious Shock, which is, if you remember that red that I showed you, like one side is shiny, one side is one side is matte. Um beautiful, beautiful shades. So definitely keeping both of them. Absolutely keeping this from L'Oreal. This is the shade Zoe's Red. Had to get this in America, it never seemed to launch in the UK. One of my absolute favourite lipsticks of all time. Probably more of a berry actually now that I'm looking at it, but it's in this category. We are thinking about it and we are keeping all three of these so far. Another one that I love, so this is Chanel Rouge Audace. Again, probably butchering that pronunciation. Absolutely beautiful colour. I love this so much. Definitely keeping that. And the NARS, this is NARS Bet. Again, this is another just beautiful shade. Oh, my arm is making me so happy right now. Definitely keeping Bet. What I will get rid of is NARS um, Train Blue. I just feel like ugh, that should have been in with purples actually, looking at it there. I love the shade, but the formula is just not my favourite. It moves around a lot, it smudges, as do the Audacious lipsticks, but I feel like these are worse. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that one, not based on colour, because I think colour is beautiful, but based on the formula. So that's another... Um, declutter or the first declutter. I think I'm also going to declutter this from Essie Lauder. It's the shade Black Cherry. It's a lovely shade but I feel like I've just had this in my collection for so long now that it's definitely expired. I love the packaging. It feels very sort of vintage um, and I do think it's very pretty but yeah I have other colours that I like better and it's very very old so gonna get rid of that one. Uh, we've got a couple of MAC ones here. 
Mac Dubonnet. This is again was one of my favourites for a very long time. Beautiful, beautiful colour, definitely keeping. I think it's very old, probably expired and could be probably doing with being replaced in my collection but I do love the colour so I'm going to keep it. And then I'm also definitely keeping Mac Sin which again should probably have been more in with the purples. Um, but that is Sin there which is one of my favourites. Um, I was really pleased when they brought this out in the little mini because I knew I really couldn't justify this was like towards before I got properly into makeup rehab um, but I knew I really had to stop buying lipsticks and then they brought out the mini and I was like oh I can justify a mini um, so I, was, I remember being very very pleased when I was able to justify buying this to myself um, and I'm definitely keeping it uh, we've got another two MAC ones there so we've got Media and Studded Kiss I think I'm keeping both of these so we'll do Media first which oh it's so lovely I love, I, I'm so sorry this bit's probably going to be so boring because it's just going to be me being like these are all so good um, but these really are just some of my favourite shades Studded Kiss, I mean just look at that, how beautiful is that um, so I'm keeping those two one that I think I'll declutter is the Burberry, this is the shade Oxblood and it, it's nice but it's, it's also just broken I mean it, all my lipsticks are so old, so many of them are completely dried out and you know they break. Um, one of those Dior ones is broken as well, I think it's Triblonte actually. And I'm kind of willing to just, uh, yeah. So this is also broken but I'm sort of just willing to work with this because I love the shade so much. When is this one? Like it's fine but I'm definitely not going to deal with a broken one so we'll get rid of that. Then I've got another Burt's Bees and this is the shade Napa Vineyard. That's alright but again it's got that kind of glossy sheen to it which I just don't love in a bold colour so I'm going to declutter that one. This is again Bourgeois number 14. Oh that's a very very pretty shade, I will keep that one. Then I've got Ellery which we swatched earlier because it was in the wrong category. Yeah, that is a beautiful, beautiful shade. I'm definitely keeping that. I knew I was going to keep that when I swatched it earlier. Keeping that one and then Goldie. Goldie is lovely, but I feel like I might own Goldie. No, I think I'll just, I'll keep her for now. And then last but not least, Everglass Visionary. Like, <laughs> I love how I was like, oh, I probably need to stop swatching and try and hurry this up. And here we are still swatching. Do you know what? I do like that, but again, it's got that sort of, sheen to it that I just don't love in a bold colour so I think we will get rid of this one. That was kind of unexpected because I like hourglass products generally and they're obviously expensive but yeah not the right shade for that formula I don't think. So I've got one, two, three, four, five that I'm decluttering. So we are keeping 12 of these and decluttering five. I knew this was going to be the ones where I was going to start keeping more than I was decluttering. But I feel like we've done well so far and five gone is another five gone. Okay, we're on to sort of reds into berries. I'm definitely keeping, this is again, Urban Decay Game of Thrones collection. This is the shade White Walker. Beautiful. It's glossier than I generally like for this kind of colour, but it's just so pretty. It's lovely. So definitely keeping that one. Also definitely keeping NARS Charlotte. So that is... White Walker next to Charlotte, keeping both of them. I know there'll definitely be duplicates here and whatever, but I love these kinds of shades. D for Danger, fairly sure I'll be keeping this one. Yeah, I want to keep that. I was I was thinking about it there, but I want to keep that one. And then I've got Mac Rebel here as well, which again I enjoy. So keeping those four, they're very closely related, but definitely keeping them. I've got this one from Marc Jacobs, this is Boy Gorgeous, it's really pretty. I think I'll keep that as well. Then, uh, do you know what, I think I'm ready to let go. This was Rimmel Kate Moss 107, it is so old. Um, I'm not even going to swatch that, I'm just I'm just going to bin that one. Um, so I'm ready to get rid of that and also going to get rid of this one. Um, this is like the classic example of... I really liked the nude one of this one that I kept earlier and I went back and bought more and this one is the shade 108 Matter of Fact and I've just never liked any of the other shades that I bought as much as I liked the first one. 
um, and it is a nice shade, I do like it, but the, the formula is not quite as matte, it's not quite as long wearing, and yeah, so I'm, I'm ready to get rid of that, so I'll get rid of those two. I think I'll get rid of this one as well, it's the Revlon HD, again it's just that very sort of soft formula, it's pretty but it's just, I prefer a more matte formula, so get rid of that one. Um, then we've got Colourpop Next. That is very pretty but it's very very similar to these ones and I pulled these ones out first because they're the ones that I would think to reach for over this one so I think I will get rid of that one. And then last we have Estee Lauder Extravagant Berry. Now this, if you can see, it's so so old. This was a Christmas collection one year that like the outside of the, the lipsticks were sprayed with gold. Um, so there's there's like remnants of that overspray down there and I just I love that whole collection. Um, you know I got everything from it I believe. It's very very old. I feel like I probably should not be putting this on my lips. I mean like I don't know if you can see but it's so far down the bullet. Like I've used so much of this over the years but I did really really love that collection. I think I'll keep this but I need to wear it because I feel like it's it's definitely expired um, but I don't know if it's expired to the point that my lips will dry out with it or if it's just like this is technically expired but it's fine. Um, so I'm going to keep it for now but under under observation. So we are keeping six and getting rid of four so that's that's not too bad actually. That could have gone worse. Okay penultimate category purples. 18 of these. I love these kinds of shades, I'm very attracted to them, but I'm also super pale and after a certain point of darkness they all kind of look the same, so I really need to keep that in mind and be very ruthless here and get rid of some. So, oh I'm nervous about this category but let's, let's get on into it. I definitely want to keep Chanel Rouge Noir. This is probably the lipstick to blame for my entire love affair with these kinds of shades, so definitely keeping that one. Also definitely keeping this is Dior Poison. I don't know if this was a limited edition or not, but this is another super deep one. Love it. Anything that might make my lips look, you know, like they've been punched. Very, very much into. MAC Ariana Grande. I bought this either in New York or in the way to, I think on the way to New York, I think I got it at the airport. Love that. I mean, do I need all three of these? Probably not. Am I keeping all three? Yes. What else do we have? Oh, definitely keeping Pat McGrath McManamy. This was one of my first ever Pat McGrath lipsticks. And again, the packaging has, has broken, um, but I love it very, very much. It's got more of a berry to it than any of the others, so I'm definitely keeping that one. Uh, oh, Live by NARS. Definitely keeping. I know it's ridiculous that I'm keeping these, but I am keeping them. Definitely also keeping this as another Dior Christmas collection. So this one is called Coal, and it is shaped literally like an eyeliner coal. It's a, a much kind of brighter purple. So I'm keeping that one. MAC Diva. We're definitely keeping MAC Diva. We love that. We. The royal we. This is again, it's more burgundy MAC Diva. It should have probably not been in this category. Yeah, it definitely stands out as being not really of this category, but definitely keeping it. MAC Cyber. Oh, that's another like OG that I love. Very old in my collection, probably expired, but I think I'm just going to keep it for now. And I've also got MAC Raja, which this was broken when I got it, um, but I do like the colour. I did write to them about the fact it was broken when I got it, but basically they were only going to refund me if I sent the product back, and I was a bit like, you don't have a replacement to give me because it was sold out, so I just opted to keep it. Um, but I'm still annoyed about the fact that it was sent broken. But it is what it is, so that is Raja, that's from the uh, Aladdin collection. So keeping that one, again, probably shouldn't have been in this colour category as such. We have Colourpop Le Freak, which I like, but I feel like it's, it is very close to, to that Dior one. It's a bit more matte to be fair, I might just keep this as well. I, I did know this category was going to be a problem. Right, the other MAC ones. I've got Lingering Kiss and Dramatic Encounter. These were both gifted to me and I do like them but 
I think they're both um, rather expired. They weren't new when they were given to me kind of thing so I'm going to get rid of those two. I'm also going to get rid of this one from Topshop. This is their matte lip bullet in the shade Get Me Bodied. If anyone remembers this one, this was quite an iconic one for a while. Um, and I do very much like it, but obviously it's very much expired. Topshop's not even a thing anymore and Topshop makeup wasn't a thing well before Topshop wasn't a thing. So we'll get rid of that. Um, so this is Griselda from Fenty. This is the other one from that little set that I showed you. And I really bought this the set because I wanted that shade, but I also couldn't really justify a, a full size because look at how many others I own in that colour family. But I do very much like that, so I'm going to keep it. Milani number 70, Fearless, which I like, but I feel like I own enough other things from more special brands than Milani, so I'm going to get rid of this one. A, I am going to get rid of this, so this is the NYX um, Licorice, this one's called, and it's just that this formula is not really what I prefer these colours in. I like them in a more matte finish so I'm going to pass that one on. You can tell that I don't reach for that one because if you compare it to the nude one that I showed you earlier you can see the mess of this one and that's because this one got so much use whereas this one I've obviously barely reached for ever since I got it or that would be all over the sides and stuff as well so we're going to get rid of this. Another Wet n Wild this one is Sugar Plum Fairy which I do like but do you know what it's uh, Again, the packaging is just a bit done, it's cracked, it's, yeah. They have a lifespan, I think, the cheaper lipsticks, which is just unfortunate. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that one. And then, lastly, we have got Urban Decay Mirana, which I don't actually love because it's got that kind of frost running through it. But, again, it's a sort of collectible piece that I want to hold on to because it's a collectible piece rather than because I want to use it, but I'm going to hold on to it for now. So we are keeping 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and getting rid of 6, which is, yeah, it's still a third gone. So I'm pleased with that. I knew I wasn't going to get rid of loads of them. I love these kinds of colours. They're just some of my absolute favourites to wear, um, you know, when we're not wearing masks. So yeah, keeping them getting rid of them. I feel like my arm is so mangled from being swatched and washed. Um, but we are on to the very last category. We have emptied out everything except these guys. And in this sort of fun random colours category we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine colours. Um, so these are all sort of weird and wonderful colours like Halloween costume mixing specific looks kind of thing. Let's just have a look through them. Um, so I know I've got my two Dior ones that I'm probably going to keep. One is grey and one is navy. So obviously these are not lipsticks that I wear all that often. Um, but, you know, they're fun. However, let me see, I have, obviously Ella Masca is one of the main brands that does these kinds of lipsticks. Disciple from Ella Masca is also navy and I can't quite believe I'm saying it but I don't imagine anyone needs two navy lipsticks so I'm going to get rid of the Ella Masca one and keep the Dior one. Also from Ella Masca I've got this shade Posture which is again another sort of crypt colour. There was, if, I, if anyone's like looking at me like this is mad, there was this massive trend for a while and it was, um, it's not LA Splash but it was what is that brand that makes the Venus palettes? Lime Crime. And they had like crypt and ghoulish and there was a massive trend for these kinds of shades that made you look a bit dead for a while. It was a thing. Um, so that is El Masca Posture, which, do you know what? I do still quite like it. Um, and it's useful to have these things and sometimes at Halloween and Rocky Horror and things like that. So I'm going to keep Posture. Uh, then the other two from Milamaska I have Apocalypse, which I really like actually. Um, it's a sort of turquoise colour. Again, I wore this the last time Rocky Horror came to town, so I'm going to keep it. And then I've also got Vendetta, which is a brighter blue, but it's a more creamy formulation. 
Again, not exactly what I'm wearing to nip down the shops on a Saturday, but fun and I think I'll just keep it from Max Factor's The Star Wars. So I think I talked about this before because then Pat McGrath did the Star Wars collection. I feel like now that I've got the Star Wars palettes from Pat McGrath, I can probably, I could probably let this go, really. It's, um, I mean, it's not like I wear it very often. But then at the same time, you never know, the costume might appear. Ugh, maybe I'll just keep it. I feel like keeping these kinds of colours is not really like keeping another red lipstick. It is very much like they have a time and a place. And then the last two, so I've got MAC Missile Snow, which was a Christmas collection one. Metallic sort of topper lipstick, sort of frosty look, which is not really how I want to look most of the time, but... I don't know, again, you know, the costume might come up. Having said that, I think it smells a bit dodgy, so I think we'll maybe just... We'll say goodbye to this one and we'll keep a hold of the Pat McGrath one. And then I've got MAC Firm Form, which I think also smells a little bit off, which is a sort of frosty metallic dark. So yeah, I think I'll get rid of that. So out of these sort of weird and wonderful colours, I am getting rid of three and keeping one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're again, we're getting rid of a third. So it's still a third gone. They'll probably all get binned in the long run because I'm never going to use them up or anything like that. But they're fun to have when the time comes for them. So let's do a final count. So on the decluttered side, these are in rows of 10. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 66 decluttered lipsticks. Fairly pleased with that. That will, I had 157 at the start of this year. So that will have taken me to under 100 lipsticks. But let's just count how many we're keeping. And in terms of what is staying, we have got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we are keeping 87. We have got rid of 66. I don't think that's too bad, actually. It's quite scary, though. I mean, that's 87 lipsticks and it really doesn't look like all that much. You know, these things, they're just, they're so small, they take up so little room, but they are so much money and it takes so long to actually use them up. Um, so yeah, still get too many and obviously I'm sure this could be whittled down further and I think once I start wearing them, you know, that'll help me to discover which ones, you know, I really like in practice rather than in theory based on swatches and whatever, but... 87 with 66 removed is a much easier starting point for that exercise than the 157. Well, actually, I have an extra one, don't I? Because I have my Project Pan lipstick, which is in work. And obviously, I still have my liquid lipsticks on top of this. So I definitely still want to have less stuff than this. But I feel like this has been a fairly dramatic decrease. So I'm going to pat myself on the back. So once again, I will show you the before. And then this is the after. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them in this thing. I'm going to keep them in this thing for now. But I do think I want to really look at my makeup storage. And I will hopefully talk to you about that in the same video that I'm going to talk about why I pulled out all my Christmas things to live separately. And we'll talk about my makeup setup for 2021. Which I've still not really decided on even though it is basically the end of May. But this is a much easier amount of lipsticks to have to find a setup for. And I am really, really glad that I've done this declutter. I feel like this is much more manageable and I feel like I will get so much more use out of these now that I've sort of put them in a way that I can see them all clearly. I can reach for them all and I'm not just going to take what's at the top because there's so many to root through, which was what I was always doing before.